Hey guys, Simon here, back with some PlayStation 3 pickups. Now, I have found six titles that I've wanted to add into my collection, so let's dive in and take a look. First up is a copy of 3D Dot Game Heroes. Now this was developed by Silicon Studios and published by From Software. Now the gameplay in this game really resembles that of a 1980s action adventure throwback that kind of pays homage to the original Legend of Zelda uh, with its art style and gameplay. Now if you're a fan of the original Legend of Zelda, you're going to love this game. It just looks great, plays great. The atmosphere really pulls you in and it's such a quirky and unique game and it's Probably one of the games I'd consider a hidden gem on the PlayStation 3. So, as mentioned, if you're a fan of the original Legend of Zelda, go out and pick this game up. You were just going to have so much fun with it. However, it can be a little expensive with copies going from anywhere between $20 to $40, but definitely worth a look at. Next up, I have a copy of Metal Gear Solid The Legacy Collection. Now, this is, a re this is really good value for money. There is so much content on this collection, it's crazy. Uh, it contains all of the Metal Gear games from the original all the way up to Guns of the Patriots and Peace Walker that was released on the PSP. Now the main driving force for me to pick this up was the fact it came with the original Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. Those two titles were originally released on the NES and I didn't have an NES back in the day so I never had a chance to play those games but with this collection I can kind of now go through and replay everything and refresh myself on the story and lore of the Metal Gear series in preparation for the Phantom Pain that releases later this year. So second pick up, Metal Gear Solid The Legacy Collection. Coming in third place is a copy of a Killzone Trilogy Collection. Now this has the first three Killzone games spanning across two discs. Uh, with the most standout title, in my opinion, being the original Killzone. It's been completely revamped in HD, and it looks great, and of course it would. Everything in HD looks great, but uh, standout features, uh, the muddy PS2 graphics have kind of been done away with. It runs so much smoother in a higher frame rate and a higher resolution, and the laggy controls the PS2 suffered are completely gone as well. It plays amazingly well on the PlayStation 3, and the original Killzone game alone on this makes it worth picking up in my opinion but I'm a massive fan of the Killzone series so and this is really cheap to pick up anywhere from 15 to 20 dollars and you can still buy it at your local EB games so third pick up of the video Killzone Trilogy. Number four is a copy of Oblivion Game of the Year Edition now this is kind of just a label slash box, box upgrade for me I already have this but it's the platinum version and I don't like the platinum versions I really just want to collect kind of the original black label versions of the game so i managed to find a copy of this really cheap it's everywhere no matter where you look you will probably find a copy of oblivion whether you're garage sailing you're on ebay no matter where you are this game will turn up but it is brilliant uh it was made by bethesda entertainment and it's just a massive sprawling open world rpg with hundreds of quests this game is just absolutely enormous well worth the money now a little story um, my first experience with Oblivion was also kind of my first dive into console gaming for the seventh generation. At the time, I was heavily into PCs, didn't even really give consoles a second chance. But I picked up a copy of this uh, for my PlayStation 3, chucked it in, loaded it up, and everyone can relate to this. The first time you walked out of the sewer, uh, out onto that wharf area in Timriel and you just looked and you could see all the mountain range, the water was running, you could see the breeze blowing, kind of the grass around and the music in the background and it was amazing and like my jaw literally dropped. I was just, I didn't know consoles could push graphical limits like this game did for the time and I was just amazed. And this game really helped me actually get back into console gaming. So I'm glad I originally bought it back then, but brilliant game. Pick it up if you haven't played it. Oblivion. 
Okay, we are now down to the last two titles of the video, and the second last is a copy of DuckTales Remastered. Now, I haven't played this version yet, so I can't really comment too much. However, I did play a lot of the original version back when I was a child. I would go over to my friend's place for a sleepover, and we would both sit there and play uh, the Nintendo non-stop. And to this day, I can still remember the sound uh, Scrooge's cane made as you kind of pogo sticked along, and it was, it was just awesome. They were such great times. And I really hope I can kind of relive some of those memories with DuckTales Remastered. But it was $10, it was ridiculously cheap, so I jumped straight on it. So, second last pickup, DuckTales Remastered. Now for the last pickup of the video, and it is a copy of Wipeout Fury HD. Once again, I haven't played this version, so I can't comment too much but it was $15 by it now. This was from eBay. It was pretty hard to find. I had to get it from Europe. Um, I'm a big fan of the Wipeout series. I played a ton of the original Wipeout and Wipeout 2097 and Wipeout 3 on the original PlayStation, but I preferred those titles because they were in the hands of Psygnosis, where Psygnosis doesn't have control of the Wipeout series anymore, but really cheap. I will give it a go. Why not? Let's, let's see if it can hold up to the standards of Wipeout 2097 because that was a ridiculously good game. But last pickup, Wipeout Fury. Okay guys, so that is basically it. However, if you've made it this far in the video, it's time for the bonus section, which is Pickup of the Week. And today's Pickup of the Week is the PlayStation 3 Bluetooth keyboard. $7 in an EB Games bargain bin buried down the bottom. Yes, please. You don't have to ask me twice. And you know what? We'll do a quick unboxing on air. We'll have a look and see what's inside. So we'll just try and pop it open without ripping the box. Straight away, we are greeted with just a quick start guide. We have two batteries. Just on the top panel here, shows you how to load the batteries and set it up on your system and basically shows you some, a little bit of a key layout there. Pop the tab open, there's the keyboard. It's actually quite small and it's really light, so that's awesome. So we'll get the protective off it first. Wow, that looks really cool. That's a really slim line little keyboard. As you can see, the keys don't stick up. You've got a little kind of mouse cursor just here. Just here. That looks awesome. Because it's Bluetooth, this will probably work, uh, work with my um, tablet as well, so that's a bonus. On the back, it's all glossy. Yeah, I've got my fingerprints on it already and the PlayStation logo. So that is, that's pretty cool. And like I said, for $7, yeah, I'll jump on that straight away. So pick up of the week, the PlayStation 3 Bluetooth keyboard. So that's it, guys. That is the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Now, in the next episode of the PSX Collector, it's going to be a Q&A. So like I said, if you've made it this far in the video, if you would like to now ask a question, you can in the comments below. You have until the 10th to put something down and I will answer that for you in the next video. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm Simon, aka the PSX Collector. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.